Hey, sixth grade, this video is gonna show you how to log into ST Math in case you forgot or you weren't in class yesterday. I'm gonna find the Clever app, the C with the blue background. And if you can't find it, you can press the magnifying glass on your keyboard and then type in CL and it'll pop up. Once I click Clever, I have to click Login with Active Directory. I'm gonna log in as a student because my teacher version looks very different than the kid version. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to scroll down until I see the penguin and it says math. I click that. And then it's going to log me in. I don't have to remember any other passwords. It's pretty neat. You'll see your name up at the top. And in the top right corner, there's a little clock stopwatch it tells you how long you've played and um, a puzzle piece how many puzzles you've solved you're going to click on the house in the top right when you do it's going to give you a couple of options i don't want you to do auto assignments instead down on the bottom it says my classes click that one and there are some things that i've assigned for you to do and you need to do them in this order so once you click the top one there'll be a pre-quiz Click on the door, and it tells you you can use scratch paper, but no calculators and no sharing answers. I'm going to randomly just choose answers. You will need to actually look through. Don't just copy mine. You can see I just picked the top ones. You can also see I only got two out of five right. Once you get out of the pre-quiz, then you'll go to the games. Now, you missed a lot of time in school over the last year and a half because of the pandemic. So what you're going to see for the very first lesson is that it might seem kind of easy, right? But we wanna to try to find any holes you might have in your understanding. This one said equal areas. I saw that when I clicked on the circle. So I'm looking at these two squares and I'm looking for which one is cut into equal size parts. That's that one right there. And my penguin gets all the way across. I want you to notice what happens when I click the wrong one. Yeah, see how the penguin can't go up, right? So you just need to click the ones that are in equal sized parts because that's what fraction means, that we're cutting something into equal sized parts. In the top right, there's a white bar going across as well. When you get all the way through, you'll go on to the next level. Let's see if I can do this pretty quickly. I don't wanna to go too quickly and make a mistake. But we'll see here. Almost there. One more, maybe. All right. So again, this is called equal areas. I see that up in the top. That's a big hint to what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, there's my cat. She wants to play too, All right? So this is the next level. What I want you to do is just spend 20 minutes. Every time you open this, spend 20 minutes. If you get done with 20 minutes and you wanna keep going, great, All right? I'm gonna press the back button. I'm gonna press the back button one more time, All right? If you get all the way through the levels on fraction concepts, then it'll take you into mixed numbers, okay? Again, we know that every kid spent a different amount of time in school during the last year and a half, All right? And sixth grade is when we really need to be secure in our fractions. So we're gonna use ST Math as a review tool throughout the rest of this year to really get good at fractions.